Stories with a voice like this presents Dash's Holiday, Frederick Warren and Company, Publisher, Dalziel Brothers, Engraver. Said Dash, a young and handsome dog, while mistress is away, I'll run out to the fresh green fields and take a holiday. My cousin keeps a farmer's flocks, and pleased I'm sure he'll be a grand relation like myself at his poor house to see. So Dash drew on his Sunday coat of velvet soft and red, and a fine hat with snow-white plume he put upon his head. And thus he walked down Regent Street, a puppy young and vain, and pitied all the vulgar folks who must in town remain. For many miles he walked and ran, and seldom paused to rest, until he met a snow-white dog, like rural lassie dressed. She wore a hat and bodice blue, a wheat sheaf on her arm. Dash bowed and said, Please tell me, ma'am, the way to Arden Farm. That is my home, the white dog said. Good farmer Austin's sheep, my father, keeper is his name, is bound from thieves to keep. Then you're my cousin Blanche, said he. I'm Dash, in town well known. A most distinguished lady's pet, I scorn a vulgar bone. <laughs> then I'm afraid, good cousin Dash, the white dog laughing said, that in our rural home you'll find yourself but poorly fed. They walked together to the farm, Blanche full of harmless glee, and just outside the woodbine porch they good old keeper see. Says Blanche, this is our cousin Dash. He's welcome, keeper said, and into his snug dwelling place the London dandy led. And set before him rural fare, Dash did his best to eat. But in his secret heart he thought farm bacon quite a treat. You're coming just the nick of time, the homely sheepdog cries, while with fat bacon and good bones he Dash's plate supplies. Tomorrow's the hunt dinner, lad, and they'll be glad to see a friend of mine, a cousin too. Rare fun it's sure to be. You hunt, no doubt. Sometimes, said Dash, a rat yields me some sport, but hunting's out of fashion quite in Queen Victoria's court. Our sovereign lady does not hunt, says Keeper, that is true. But what Her Majesty may do is naught to me and you. Dash smiled and said that since from court it was his fate to stray, he'd gladly share in any fun that chance threw in his way. The next day, dressed out in their best, to the hunt feast they go, and Keeper introduces Dash to all he chanced to know. The hounds had spread a jovial feast, but I'm ashamed to say how very foolishly poor Dash behaved upon that day. He sniffed the soup, turned up his nose, asked every dish's name, and sighing said he hoped to make his dinner upon game. Declared he only claret drank, while all good home brewed quaffed, till at his airs and graces all the honest foxhounds laughed. They offered him a mount next day, and such was Dash's pride that he accepted it, although he knew he couldn't ride. So next day, on a fine gray steed, he joined the merry meet in top boots, spurs, and jacket pink, a huntsman's garb complete. Full soon the fox is found. They start. Dash holds on by the mane. His hat flies off, but he sticks on until a brook they gain. I wish I were a spaniel now, cries Dash in sore distress. I cannot swim in boots and spurs. Oh, here's a pretty mess. Pride had a fall and Dash a spill. He tumbled in the stream. And as indeed he could not swim, his peril was extreme. A Newfoundland at whom he'd laughed because mere ale he drank, leaped down at once into the brook and drew him to the bank. Weary and wet, he leads him home. Dash vows he'll hunt no more. They find his pretty cousin Blanche spinning beside the door. Quite vexed to see her cousin's plight, she made him go to bed. And many grateful words of thanks she to the great dog said. Smiling, he answered, 
pretty Blanche, send this poor puppy home. It does not do for such as he about the world to roam. By petting he's been spoiled outright. He's only fit to stay with some fine lady in her room to jump about and play. That's true, said Blanche. Yet this I know of my poor London friend. With his own feeble life, Dash would his mistress kind defend. He's a good house-dog, vain, I grant. As puppy still will be, this ducking will have done him good, as by and by you'll see. I dare say, if we went to town, we might as awkward seem, and find the streets as hard to cross as Dash did our small stream. Blanche nursed Dash well, and he went back to town much wiser grown. But of his further history, no more to us is known. <laughs>